friends today we are going to start the next unit and the last unit of this paper analytical chemistry that is the method of separation in the method of separation we have to first of all talk about the solvent extraction then the factors affecting the extraction like the chelation and air formation and the solvation graph of percentage extraction versus the ph then the concept of the ph half and its significance derivation not expected then the crick's current counter extraction its principal apparatus and application next part is the solid phase extraction its principal process and application with a special reference to the water and industrial effluent analysis comparison of the solid phase extraction and the solvent extraction and the second part of this unit is hp lc and hp tlc this technique their introduction its principal instrumentations then the different components its advantages disadvantages its application okay then we have to see the comparison of the tlc and hp tlc that we have to see in detail in this unit okay we are not uh, spending the much time on this part we will directly move towards the topic that is a method of separation first topic is the solvent extraction you know it is nothing but a method of separation based on the distribution of the solid but the two between the two immiscible liquids this is a technique in which the solution is brought into contact with the second solvent which is immiscible with the first then the separation can be achieved by this way are simple convenient and rapid to perform the water the solid transferred or extracted into the organic solvent is later recovered from it by evaporation or other method distribution constant and partition coefficient distribution coefficient or say partition coefficient that is called as a k the distribution of the solid between the immiscible solvent is governed by the nash distribution law which states that according um, means according to the law a solid will distribute itself between two immiscible liquid in such a way that the ratio of concentration at equilibrium is constant at a particular temperature that is a k is equal to c1 by c2 or c0 by caq distribution ratio d is equal to c1 by c2 where c1 and c2 are the concentration of the solid in all its forms in it to state in the Uh, C1 and C2 are the concentration of the solute in all its forms in the two liquids. Then D is dimensionless at a given temperature and is constant and is independently and uh, independent of the total number of the solute. Then what is the separation factor? This is the extent of separation can be found by quantity called as separation factor beta which related to the distribution ratios of the a and b by the equation beta is equal to uh, uh, separation factor is nothing but the extent of the separation can be found uh, found by quantity called as the separation factor beta which is related to distribution ratios of the a and b by the equation beta is equal to da by db is equal to the concentration is zero divided by concentration of kw divided by concentration of p zero divided by concentration of the bw where da is equal to 10 and db is equal to 0.1 and then the separation factor will be the 100 da is 10 and db is the 0.1 at that time separation factor 
hundred the separation effect the separation effect increases with the magnitude of the separation factor if the separation factor is large but the smaller distribution ratio is also appreciable then the extraction ratio of the component assumes for a given value of dA and dB the separation coefficient or the separation effect can be increased by adjusting the volume ratio which is given by the Bosch Densen equation as V0 by VW is equal to 1 upon dA into dB raised to 1 by 2 Now factor affecting the extraction, solvent extraction of the metal ion is based on the formation of an uncharged complex followed by the distribution of heat between the, between the pair of immiscible solvents. This complex may be produced by either the chelation, formation of the co-coordination uh, co covalent or say detube bond or second a process of iron pair formation third one is a process of solvation these are the three ways by which this particular what we can say whatever the complex will form in the solvent Then what is the chelation? First of all, first factor is the chelation. Chelation ligand have a vital role in extraction of the metals. The substance which brings about chelation is called as a chelating or a complex agent. Example plus chelating agent plus heterochromic indicator. The chelates are classified according to the type of basic group present. <coughs> if both the basic group are uncharged, it results into positively charged metal chelates. If reagent has one anionic group, new if both the basic group are unchanged it reacting in it it results into positively charged metal chelates if reagent has one anionic group a central chelates are a new chelate are formed if there is a multiple negative charge so chelates If there is a multiple negative charge on the chelation uh, on chelating agent results in negatively charged then the next point the neutral chelates are easily sorry if there is a multiple negative charge on the chelation reagent which results in the negatively charged is Then the neutral gelates are easily extracted into organic solvent. Aluminium ion in the solution are usually converted into the hydroxyquinolate by the addition of 8 hydroxyquinoline. The gelate form is extracted by using the benzene and chlorine. Chloroform. Aluminium is easily extracted at pH 5.8 in the presence of the iron, nickel, and vanadium.
<coughs> at an equilibrium you can see at an equilibrium you can see nhq organic plus mn plus that is a metal it will give you mn plus m raised to n plus that will give you mqn organic plus nh plus aqueous the equilibrium is dependent upon the h plus and concentration and the ph control is necessary other complexing agent or say masking agent are also used such as the dimethyl glyxime acetone acetone cupferon cupferon then then two nitroso beta naphthol and dithiosine acetyl acetone from the special gelates with more than 60 metal and dmg is used for the characterizing or say extracting of the nickel and palladium the formation of the complex of the metal ions occurs due to tendency of metal ion to acquire lone pair of electron from the ligand in its vacant atom that is orbital of the appropriate energy and asymmetry it may be uncharged or say charged species the complex in the metal and with the the complex of the metal and with the monodentic monodentic ligand like the H2O and HCPH don't possess ring structure CO H2O6 2 plus this no the complex of the metal ion with poly dented ligand possess ring structure are called as chelates which are more stable what are the chelates the complex having the ring structure are called as the chelates you can see the metal and ethylene diamond is there with the naban will link with the, the two nitrogen with this particular metal you can see the of the coordination bond Anionic chelates are generally used as sequencing agent to mark the cation during the extraction. The effectiveness of the chelating agent to form the stable metal chelates depend on the electronegativity of the bond atom, the strength of the formation. The effectiveness of the chelating agent to form the stable metal chelates are dependent on the number one electronegativity of the bond atom, the basic strength of the donor's functional group, and the size and the number of the chelate rings. Then, next parameter the process of the ion pair formation. The process of ion pair formation. That we will see in the next lecture. See, very simple. It is a three factors we have to see. First factor we have completed now. That is nothing but the chelation. Chelation is nothing but the as we have talked regarding formation of the coordination coordination that coordination covalent or dating bond is generally called as a chelation means ring structure will be there in the complex it's called as a chelate that you have to remember please go through this lecture well if you are not getting you can easily ask okay this is about our we can see it as a chelation then in the next lecture we will talk about the process of ion pair formation and dissolvation this part we will continue in the next lecture please go through each and every part of this unit if you are not getting you can freely ask okay please go through this daily lecture series well if you have any problem any difficulty you can freely ask We'll stop here.
ਥੈਂਕ ਯੂ